Well, it's National Fire Prevention Week, and this year's campaign is Learn the Sounds of Safety. News 13's Tess Roll joining us live this morning with the South Walton Fire District. And Tess, what are some of the top safety tips that folks really at home need to know to ensure a fire does not break out in their home? Hey, good morning, Chris. Yes, 80% of fires actually start in the home, and it's said also that we lose about 2,500 people a year due to fires, and I'm actually live this morning with the fire marshal for South Walton Fire District, Mr. Sammy Sanchez. So what we're holding here is a smoke detector, which is commonly in people's homes, and, you know, talk to me about the different kinds of chirps that we hear. What's kind of signaling, of course, that the batteries need to be changed versus a real-life alarm? Okay, so if, if you hear just a constant chirping, it's typically because the battery needs to be changed, which everybody hears that. It's very annoying. But if you hear this sound, I'm going to go ahead and press it for you. Okay. That means it's actually detected some type of, of smoke in the home, and, and you need to, to, to recognize what that is. Um, pay attention to it, uh, especially young children. When they hear that, they need to understand that there is something going on. Yes, so when should we check the batteries to ensure that it's working properly? So all these smoke alarms will, will typically have, they're hardwired, which means they're, they're, there's wiring come on, coming out of your home, and they'll also have a battery backup. And the battery needs to be replaced twice a year. So we have a campaign where it's change your clocks, change your batteries, so that, that way it's easy to remember. And um, test them once a month. And a smoke alarm is only good for about 10 years. So if your smoke alarm is older than 10 years in your home, you probably need to replace it. Okay, key tip right there. Replace it every 10 years. And you actually offer a community program uh, as well for those who may not have them. We do. So we have these type of smoke alarms that we would offer here in South Walton if, if you were in need. These are just battery operated. And um, if, if you don't have any, this is better than nothing. Give us a call and we'll be more than happy to come out and probably even install it for you. All right, thanks so much, Mr. Sanchez, for your time this morning. Again, if you do not have one in the South Walton area, great resource there, but be sure to get them so you could stay safe. For now, live in South Walton, Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong.